YouTube, what's happening? It is Saturday, August 17th. And as you can see, we got a full slate of baseball. Everyone's playing today. Drop a like and subscribe because yesterday we went seven and five plus 0.93 units. Hey, that's back to back green days. It may not be much profits, but profits are better than losses. So we will take those anytime we can get them. Yes. On the season, now we're back up to 62.4 units profit overall. Again, great number. We'll take that anytime we can get it. So on top of that, it's a busy day. We do not have time to lollygag. Get in the car. We're going right now. All right, first game, we got Seattle and Pittsburgh. We got Seattle as a pretty hefty favorite, 155, eight and a half vision total. Looking over at the weather, because we are in Pittsburgh, we see that the weather starts out nice and potentially could get bad later on. Wind 10, blowing left, left, or whatever direction that is there, you know what it is. So you can see, eh, there we go. 53% nerfy based on what they've done this year. Pittsburgh won a game. Oh my goodness. Seattle's lost four now. Two runs a game. A buck 16 for Seattle in the last three. That's 27th and 30th in majors. That ain't that good. Pittsburgh, 2.3, 245. That's 26th and 13th. That's still not that good. So neither team's offense is still good. Seattle's just worse. They let Pittsburgh win a game. You lost 10 in a row, then you won. Come on. Strikeouts. 9.7 versus 12.7. That's 22nd and 30th. Pittsburgh is still the worst strikeout team in the majors right now. So who do we have pitching? Because yesterday strikeouts didn't work because they just couldn't do anything. But funny, but yet the pitching outs did and the nerfy did. So hey, you, when you have four plays and two of them hit, I'll take it. That breaks even. Whatever. Uh, let's see. We got Castillo going out today. We can see how he has done. Hasn't faced Pittsburgh. Uh, I mean, 0 3 0 I mean, can't complain pretty decent numbers we got falter going out there for pit pity seven four two i mean decent i mean he got yeah he only pitched two games in july he's only pitched two games so far in august give him rolling the 17th it's still not bad can't complain let's go to the props let's go to the outlier if you don't know what outlier is you can see he has all the awesome stuff here link in the link in the description get you a free week completely worth it trust me uh you can uh, let's do the history real quick hmm. Ooh, nothing's really standing out there seattle against lefties uh, we got a couple hundreds more hundreds no through mm, rodriguez is the best you're gonna get no other numbers you know, they're pretty average okay hits four and a half over now with this offense you kidding me crazy strikeouts pits uh seattle strikeouts is three and a half and you're not you hit seven last time you faced them you've only gone over that numbers 40 percent the whole season though oh this looks like good I'm not feeling that okay earn runs mm, very up and down and walks i hit a walk prop yesterday i was so excited when i hit someone was like yeah walks are back baby yeah so all right, let's go to Castillo. See what Castillo's got going on. Doop, 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 and boop. Here we go. Uh, ooh, Randall, 16 at bats, 375, two homers, three RBIs, and a 1.3 OBS. All right, Grandal. Let's see if you're over here on this list. You're not. Oh, uh, tough taters. Okay, Taylor. Other than that, no one's really standing out. First righties. We got some twos. We got a, got a one. We got a one. No, th a couple high twos. No threes. Let's see. Hits. A uh, very up and down. Strikeouts are. This is against Pittsburgh. He had ten last time he faced him. He has gone over sixty percent of the time. And your number is what five and a half? I think I'm gonna take this one. I think I like this one. Um, see you over five point five Ks. It's not nothing crazy like eight and a half like Skeens had or. Even six and a half, but five and a half, I'll take that. Why not? We'll take a little sprinkle on that. Why not? Two and a half for earned runs. Not with these offenses. Mm -hmm. uh, walks and outs. Uh, oh, that is consistent, is it not? But mm, no, not today. I think I'm just going to keep it simple today, not go too crazy. Let's go to bats. McCutcheon bases, Bart bases, Teller's bases, Taylor, HRR. I don't like any of those. Uh, I think... Therefore, I am going to take Castillo over five and a half strikeouts. I am, I almost feel inclined to take the Nerfy again, just because this feels like a Nerfy series. And these two pitchers are pretty good. Yep, we're going to do it. We're going to start the day off right with a bang. We're going to hit a Nerfy and Castillo over five and a half strikeouts. We're not going to take anything else. Next game. All right, New York and Detroit. New York is minus 215. Seven and a half is your total. Looking over at the weather in Detroit. 
we see it is going to be not looking good. Mm -mm. Took out projected rain all day today. Okay, that should be fun. 11 miles an hour. Let's look back at the stats just in case they do play the game. Yankees won three, 41% nerfy based on what they've done this year. 5.7 in runs, 252 average in the last three. That's 7th and 11th for New York in the majors. Detroit, a 1.7, which is last, and a buck 60, which is almost last. Terrible, terrible offense for Detroit right now. So even with that little spurt they had that one game, it didn't help. They're still terrible. So, and they're striking out a bunch too. There's 26, but 10, uh, 10, get, 10 strikeouts a game for 26. So pitching, we got Carlos, Mr. Rodon's going out there. And I mean, he has been pretty good, has he not? So yeah, he has not faced Detroit recently. It might be a long day for Detroit. If he keeps up what he's been doing, it's going to be a very long day for him. Montero is going out there for Detroit. We see he gives up runs. That's just what he does. He gives up the runs. He hasn't faced the Yankees yet. And some of these offenses are very not, how can I say this? Not as good as New York. Just put it that way. Yeah, we'll keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. There we go. Let's go with some props. We have Rodon props. We have Montero props. Let's start with Montero. Matchup. History. Nothing. Yankees versus righties. A lot of green. That ain't good. Got some high threes for Soto and Judge. Oh, mm. okay. Yeah. Uh, hits five and a half over. How's he done all season? He's gone over 50. It's not been that many games, but San Fran and Seattle. He was under, but KC, Minnesota, Toronto, Dodgers. Okay. Strikeouts. I think I'm liking his hits because we see the Yankees are doing top 11 in its offense right now. So. Earn runs. I don't know if I want to do earn runs. I think I want to do hits and outs. Then again. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Yep. I it is decided. I am taking Mon Montero over is it five. Yeah. Five point five hits allowed. Why not? Let's do it. And then we get Urodan. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. Any history? We got some history, but <laughs> Baez is like one for a two for 11. That's not good. Terrible numbers. Against lefties, ooh, got some awful zero, one, five, one, seven, zero, one, one, eight, zero, one. Oh, oh, <laughs> terrible. Oh, okay. Um, four and a half hits, no. Strikeout, seven, seven and a half. Come on. Why does it got to be so high? I know they're striking out a bunch, but do I take, there are 26 in strikeouts. Do I do it? Two and a half earned runs, walks, outs. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh, this is tough. I think, I think, I'm, oh, I want to do it. I think I'm going to do it. We're going to be a little risky today. It's the weekend. Why not? I get to watch most of these games. I don't have to work. So, oh, road on, over. 7.5 Ks just because Detroit's offense is terrible. It seems high. That's why it's got a little bit of a plus juice, but we're going to rock with it. On the bats, who we got? Parker. I ain't taking no Detroit dudes. Uh -uh. Judge bases is 70%. Verdugo, Mr. I'm allergic to batting gloves at 70%. Wow. Okay. No. No, I got my two alike. And, and on top of that, I'm going to put the Yankees into the mainline parlay. So we got Montero over five and a half hits allowed. Rodon over seven and a half strikeouts. Yeah, for plus juice. I mean, yeah, you don't have to take that one. And New York in the Moneyline Parlay next game. All right, next up, we got Toronto in Chicago. Chicago is a pretty decent favorite at home. 168 is the best number out there. Nine and a half is your total. Looking over at the weather, we see it is going to be another rainy high chance of win type of situation mm, they might not play but the wind's out at 11. interesting let's go back over here to the information here and you can see that we have 60 percent nerfy based on what they've done this year and 6.7 229 for toronto in the last three that's third and 20th somehow in the majors cubs 2.7 a buck 77 that's 22nd and 27th 
offense, you have to go Toronto, but the Cubs are just getting the benefit of the doubt for some reason. I mean, is it the pitching? Toronto's strikeouts are terrible, the 28th. So let's look at the pitchers a little closer. We got Bassett going out there for Toronto. I mean, Bassett got rocked his last game against Oakland. Yeah. And he got rocked a little bit against Baltimore. Yeah. And he got rocked against Detroit. Yeah. And he got rocked. Against... You get the point. He gets rocked. So Steele, on the other hand, I mean, he got rocked once against Cincy and once against Arizona. Then, I mean, he does, they didn't give up runs. But they're, yeah. They both have potential to have great games, but they've been giving up runs recently. So, uh, what's that over under? Nine and a half. There you go. That's that's right there. Uh, let's go to the props, see if anything stands out. Uh, boop. Bassett is who we're starting with. History. Uh, Swanson's got two home runs and four RBIs and 10 at bats, but he's only batting 200. So, if he hits the ball, it's a home run. Uh, Outside of that, nothing else is really standing out. It's Cubs, righties, a lot of red. Ugh. But we got a 300, we got a 100. Mm, go away. Uh, nothing's truly standing out here. Let's see. Hits are very up and down. Uh, strikeouts, again, are very up and down. Earn runs have started to go up. A little upward trend happening with Bassett recently. Walks. Mm, two a two and a half. Come on. How, even one and a half, I wouldn't take the... Uh. Um, and outs are starting to go down. You see a nice little downtrend. I don't like any of those. Let's pop over here to Mr. Steele. Nothing on the history. Toronto versus lefties. Again, more red. One, zero, three. Vladdy likes them. One, zero, one, 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 three. So if our show and Vladdy like lefties, no one else does. That's that doesn't help you out when you got a lefty starting. So, <laughs> oh, strikeouts so five and a half. I mean, that's that's not a bad number, but. 58% of the whole season he hit this number. He faced them last year and got seven of them. Uh, uh, and they are striking out this 28th in the major in the last three games. Okay, I found me a play. Steal over 5.5 Ks. Why not? The stats are there. It looks good. We're taking it. Hits. Nope. Earn runs. Walks. Ooh, the walk's looking good, too. How's he been doing this year? He has been walking like crazy recently, but I think with, with Toronto swinging so much, I think they, he might be below that today. So um, if the walk's hit, I don't think the strikeout's hit. If the strikeout's hit, I don't think the walk's hit, unless he's just going to try to make him chase a lot. Then if they do chase, and yeah, it's, yeah, you know, you know how it works. Outs are kind of, yeah. So let's go to the bats. We got some cubbies. We got Hap, Swanson, Craig Armstrong, and Varsho. Nico, Amaya, no Toronto people anywhere to you down into Vladdy. Ugh. Okay. And I don't like any of these. Mm -mm. So for me, I'm going to take that steal over five and a half strikeouts. I'm not taking a side. I don't know why the Cubs are favorite. Uh, if anything, I should take the over of anything. So, but I'm just going to take that steal over 5.5 strikeouts and move to the next game. All right. Next up, we got Miami and New York. New York is pretty heavy favorite at home. Eight and a half is the total weather report. We see this is my, uh, no, yeah, that's right here. We can see it's going to be cloudy. Good chance of rain. Just rain all weekend. There was rain yesterday, but no real major delays though. That was pretty good. And today we got clouds, wind blowing out, windy day. Mm, then wind people might be eating it up today. So let's see, 61% nerfy based on what's happened this year. 4.3, 238 for average. That's 17th and 17th for Miami in the last three. Mets, 7.3 runs, 291 average. That's second and third in the last three. The offense is clicking for the Mets. So, and they're not striking out. Miami is 22nd in strikeouts. So, go over to the pitchers. Maximus Myers going out there. That's why if my name was Max, it'd be Maximus. You'd be calling me Maximus every time you saw me. So, here he is. Four, six, four, three. I mean, he's only pitched in four games, and he's been giving up a, a maximum amount of runs, basically. And Severino's going out there, and he also has been giving up a lot of runs. Eight and a half, huh? Hmm, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, you have not faced, this was, nope, you faced Miami. Six, two, you had a great game against Miami on the 20th, and since then, it's gone a little downhill. And you did not face the Mets. No, you did not, so... Okay, worth noting. Pop over to the props. Let's see. We got to dig in some history, see if we can find anything good. Because uh, you got to lean the Mets so far, just based off the the bad information. And if anything, I'd probably lean Severino in the pitching over Maximus. Slightly. Not by much, just slightly. 
So we'll start with Max Meyer, no history. Uh, Mets versus righties. Two, 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 high two. Two, 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 two one, two, low two. Eh, nothing too, nothing really stands out. Let's go 2024. He's pitching this many games. Strikeouts, earn runs, blocks. He's all over the place. He's, some of the games are good, some games are not. So it's kind of hard with him. Pass. Moving on to Severino. What you got for us? History. Berger. Two homers, three RBIs, and 400 hours and 10 at bats. So, and we know Berger's been lighting it up recently. He's been flame grilled. That's how good he's been. He's on fire. So, uh, dude is on fire. Is Berger over here? Oh, look. Berger's the first one on bases, and he has a history. Let me go ahead and just add me a burger prop. Do I want to go bases? Does he does he HR too? Where's burger? Oh, it's just bases. No, oh, there's a lot of greens. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, so I'm taking burger. Do I want to go HRR for minus one ten on DK? Because if they're on DK and FanDuel, they're offshore too. So because offshore tends to mimic the big boys, especially like Caesars and all them. So and they all mimic each other anyways. So. Or I can take plus 150. He gets two bases. Hey, he hits a home run. That's four bases. So, hey, four better than two. That good old, that math right there. Math is mathing. I, huh. You know what? I think I'm going to be a gambler today. That's what I'm going to be. Who cares about the record? We're going for the money. We're going for the gusto. We're going for the plus 150. That's where we're going to go. Burger over 1.5 bases. That's right. We're lighting it up today. Um, back to the props. Hit it against righties. Ooh, yeah, you can see Miami likes hitting righties. A lot of good numbers. Got two, well, a couple don't, but most do. So, mm, okay, hits. Their hits have been high. Okay, he's gone over. This was all, this is all for this year. Okay, he faced him. This is his fourth time facing him. Ooh, let's just look at this for a second. Just the history of them facing. Hmm. Okay, he's walked three all three times, and it's one and a half. And his outs, okay. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let's look at the whole season walks. Ooh, he walks a lot, too. Oh, yes, let me have it. I'm taking it. I like uh, Severino over 1.5 BBs. That's a walk right there. I got to do it. Got to, I got to see it through, my boy. Got to see it through, okay. Yep, we're going to do that. Now, back over the bats, you have all the choices you want. There's a lot on here to pick from. Look at all these people. Look at all this beautiful data. Lots of offense. All the bats are clicking. You have options. I already have Berger over one and a half bases and Severino over one and a half walks. I'm going to stick right there. And I'm not going to put New York in the money line. I was going to, but that New York offense, I mean, the Miami being so good. Uh, kind of scared me, so I'll leave it alone. Just take those two next game. All right, next up, we got Arizona and Tampa. Uh, Tampa got the win yesterday. It was a pick them today, eight and a half. It's in St. Pete in Tropicana, so there's no weather. Uh, 51% nerfy based on what they've done this year. 6.3 and 267. That's fifth and tenth for Arizona in the last three. Tampa, 2.7, a buck 68. That's 22nd and 28, but yeah, somehow they won the game yesterday, so... Yeah, sometimes the numbers don't matter. So, welcome to baseball. And it's third and 20th in strikeouts advantage Arizona. So, the offensive advantage still statistically should go to Arizona. Let's look at the pitching matchups, see if there's anything there. Today, we have Zach Gollin going out there and Jeffrey Springs. We'll start with Gollin first. History sees, uh, I mean, He's had a couple if a couple of, uh, games and a couple of great games. Like you throw it up ones and zeros, good, and then you give up six and fives. That's concerning. Springs is going out there. Uh, he's only pitched three times, and you can see his his three times aren't bad. Six and four, six one, and six two. So he gives up six hits. If the hits five and a half, I'm taking it. I mean, with Arizona, I'm taking it. So let's just pop over to the props now. Let's start with Springs. Springs five and a half hits allowed. Thanks. I'm a man of my word. Springs over 5.5 hits allowed. I don't, I, I'm doing it. Yep, don't care. Yep, because this was SARS. Yeah, you've been this since you got back. I don't care. We'll look at strikeouts, earn runs, up and down, up and down. Mm, 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 mm. I'm taking these hits. You're going up against Zona. Zona has the tip. You're batting 267, 6.3 runs. Yeah, yeah, let me get them hits. I'll take that off your hands. Thank you very much. 
Mm, that's a nasty stat. Nasty and cold French frost type stat. Oof. Let's now let's pop over to Gollin. Let's look at his history. Did I even look at Springs history? I think I overlooked that. I got excited. Hold on. Let me go back to Springs. Springs history. Nah, there's nothing there. But there, I'll show you. Arizona versus lefties. This is another one. Yeah, I knew this was coming. Just uh, <laughs> I knew it. That's why I was like, yeah, let me get that five and a half if I saw it. Yeah, a lot of 300s. I mean, Carroll's the only one that doesn't do good against lefties on the whole team. And I guess her does too. But mainly Carroll of all people. And funny, Carroll is the top two spots in the numbers. So people are going to be all over that 90%, but they're facing, he's facing a lefty and he doesn't do good against lefties. So, yeah. So back to Gollin. Let's look at history real quick. There is none really to speak of. And Tampa versus righties. Tampa is a 300, but most of it's going to be twos, even some ones. Not that good. Uh, hits for going four and a half. He's going to hits recently, but uh, it's Tampa. Tampa offense is not that good right now. Ooh. Mm, strikeouts? Mm, mm -mm. I don't trust that either. I don't trust that. Earn runs? I don't trust. Walks? Bring it back in so I can see it. Uh, I'm not like any of these. Uh, is he so up and down? Oh, okay. So the bats, we don't have many, but remember the first two are Carroll and he is batting a smooth, remember he, we just showed it. He's batting a smooth 183 for the season against lefties. And yet he is now the number one and two spots here at 90%. People will take that. I'm not, I'm passing on these. I don't like any of these. So for me, I have it. I got springs over five and a half hits allowed. I don't. I think up to yeah. I'm taking Arizona. If I think yeah, Arizona's in the money line parlay. They got me yesterday, but not today. I think they get they get the win today. So yeah, taking Arizona. I'm taking springs over five and a half hits allowed, and we're gonna move on to the next game. All right, next up we got Washington and Philly. Uh, Corbin did not Corbin yesterday, so we didn't get the Philly team total. It's okay. It happens. Still at a green day. We'll take it. So. Philly is 175 today. Nine is the total. The weather is not looking good. Mm -mm. That looks like some rain in the area. That's not looking good at all. Wind's blowing out 12 miles an hour. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that works. 53% Murphy based on what they've done this year. 2.0, 240 average in the last three. That's 27 to 16 for Washington. Eh, not too good. Philly, 8.3 and 367. Both first, but yesterday it was three runs in 303, which was 19th to 7th for the day. So they dropped off, but I mean, they still batted 300 as a team. That's still pretty good. So, I mean, Corbin had a game. Corbin has the possible potential to have good games. It happens. So uh, neither team striking out. They're both in the top four. Pretty good stuff. Let's look at Mackenzie Gore going out there today. And uh, five hits, five runs, no earned last time. That's always a fun thing to show because he had six walks and it was just great fun all around for all that watched. Uh, eight, five, and four, eight, three, nine, six. I mean, sound like the star of phone numbers. There's so many numbers. Uh, ugh. And none of these games were against Washington, were they? They were not. And then Sanchez is going out there against him. 12 and seven. Uh, yeah, it's eight and six. What's the over under? It's nine. I have, mm, I'm already considering an over in this one. Yeah, I'm considering it. Let's look a little deeper just to, just to see. Let's go to Gore first since he popped up first. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, we got some history. Oh, Castellanos has two homers and 15 at bats. That's something worth noting. Turner's got a 417 average and 12 at bats, but no home runs, but he has 1.0. Uh, let's see. Home run, home run, home run. I mean, I'm pretty sure if Philly's going to hit a home run today off Mackenzie Gore, I just don't know which one. That's the best thing to say. Um, against lefties, they are also pretty good. Can't see anybody except for Rojas. Everybody else is good. Everybody. So, uh, oops, five and a half is your hits allowed. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm, 50%. So... Yeah, you see how the good they are historically against him. You see how often he got, tw he gave what, 12 hits? I mean, what was it? Five his last game, eight before, it's right there on the screen, yeah. I, I gotta take it, I gotta take it. I'm taking Gore over 5.5 hits allowed. It's plus 102, it's basically a pick -em, but I'm gonna think Philly is able to get the bat on the ball at least six times, just thinking. Head to head. Uh, he's faced him five times and he faced him twice this year. Five and three? Ooh. Mm. Nah. 
Still going to go with it. He's been giving up more hits than usual. Strikeouts are very... Uh, uh, earn runs. I mean, earn runs might be the play, too. Well, he didn't score any runs yesterday. That, that, that bothered me. So... Mmm. Mmm. That's way. I'm, I'm going with the juice. I'm going with the hits. We're doing it. We're rocking with it. Sanchez, what you got for us? History. Abram's got a 455 average and 11 at bats. 417 average for Varus. Vargas, I mean. But no home runs. Nothing stands out. 750 and four at bats. You got 364. Some love lefties. Some hate lefties. Your typical team. Mostly like lefties, though. So that's, that's fun. Hits. He got 12 last time. I mean, I could easily see Washington getting this, but. Ooh, I don't think so. I'm gonna pass on it. Strikeouts didn't like earn runs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. That that sells it. I'm not gonna take Gore hits allowed. I'm gonna take that off. We're gonna take this over of nine. No, no. I don't want to take two plays in this game. I'm taking one. I'm take that over of nine. Let's look at the bats real quick. See what's happening on the bat side. Young call, Garcia, Bone call, Young. I don't like it. They're mostly bases, and I don't like those two HRs. Yeah, I'm just going to take the over of nine in this game. Move on to the next one. All right, next up, we got Casey in Cincinnati. Cincinnati is a slight favorite at home. Nine and a half is your total. Looking at the weather, it might not be the best. So you can see some storms potentially. Rain chances are 40 to 30% during the game. Ugh, wind's blowing out, though. A little windy day. Uh, 50%. 56% nerfy based on what they've done this year. 4.7 for both teams on runs in the last three games. That's 12th in the majors. 290 for KC for fourth. Meanwhile, since he's at 242 for 15th. So the slightest of leans for KC in the bats. Looking over the pitchers, we got Waka Waka going out there. We can see his numbers have been good. I mean, look at every single number he's had. Just good games. Can't complain. That's what you want in a pitcher. Lodolo's going out there. He's had pretty much the same outside of this one game against Chicago. And he got four a couple times. So Waka, I would say slightly better. But neither of these advantages are enough to make me say I want to take KC. So they're pretty similar. So let's pop back over to the props. We start with Waka. Look at the history. France is 518 at-bats. The first thing I see. So he's 9 of 18, but he only has two RBIs. So, uh, okay. 714 of 7 at-bats. Other than that, a lot of zeros. So there's some advantages for Cincy there. Cincy versus Rides. Uh, two, two, one, two, one, two, 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 one. It's Ellie's the only one that's actually doing decent. Everybody else is struggling for the whole season against righties. Going to these props, strikeouts. Ugh, neither team striking out much, so I really don't want to do that. Um, let's go. Refresh the page real quick. Internet's starting to jump around. Won't know why. Here we go. Back to it. There we go. Strikeouts, very up and down, not liking those. Earn runs, two and a half. I mean, he's gone below almost every game, but two. Un under might be a play. Mm, it could be a play, let's be honest. Walks and outs. His outs have gone up recently, too. So, earn runs against Cincy under two and a half might be the move. Let's look at Lodolo, see what we can do here. His history, uh, there's no real history. They're not good against lefties. I mean, Witt's good against everybody, let's be honest. They're going to start treating him like Judge and walking him just because it makes sense. A couple threes. So we got three 300s and a couple 100s. Nothing, nothing really. Yeah. Outs is very up, mm, kind of wavy. Not that good. Strikes are uh, up and down. It hits outside of this one game. He's been pretty good, but five and a half is uh, earned runs, two and a half over. Walks. You know, the only thing I'm, I lean this, but how's he done head to head at zero one? That was yet last year. This is his first time facing him. He's gone under, t under two and a half earned runs is plus 105. Why, why do they think they're going to hit him? They, they know something. They know the, there's one of those games where it does like, what? Like, why is Cincy favored in this one? I, I get it. It's just, uh, okay. I'll leave one pass. Uh, and then we have Stevenson, Wits at 70%, and Friedel. That's it on the bat. So none of those look good. This is something weird. It's like, look at the stats. Look at the pitching. Yet we got Cincy favored. What's, what do they know? What do they know that we don't know? I don't know. So for me, I'm going to be cautious. 
I haven't passed on anything so far. So I'm going to take my first pass and pass on this game and move on to the next one. All right, next up, we got Boston and Baltimore. We can see Baltimore is a slight favorite, nine and a half. The weather ugh, it's not looking good. It's, uh, yeah, storms, 60%. It, this game might get postponed. I mean, I'd be shocked if it played. Uh, Dime miles an hour wind. 47% nerfy based on what they've done this year. 6.7, 279 for Boston the last three. That's third and sixth in the majors. Baltimore, 6.3, 317. That's fifth and second. So both offenses are top six in all the main stats. And yeah, what's the over in this one? Nine and a half. Only thing is this weather that's really concerning. So let's pop over to the pitchers now. Bellows going out there for Boston. Bellow, three, 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 two, three, one. He had a one against Texas, but Texas offense has not been good. We know that. We've seen this. If you watch any amount of time, you know Texas offense is just not good this year. They're one of those top bottom five teams. That's what they are. Uh, Povich is going out there against him. We can see. I mean, outside of five. I mean, decent. This 5-8 was rough, but the rest was okay. Can't complain. So let's pop over some props, see if anything stands out. Who we got first? Povich. History. Uh, none. Over two for that guy. Against lefties, Boston, 2-3-2-2. Two, three, two, two. Oh, basically 3-2-2-0-1-2-3. Two, 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 and some up, some down. Mm, only strikeouts. All you're going to get me, huh? That's it. That's all I get are strikeouts. And yeah, he's very up and down. Okay, cool. That makes that easy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bello. History. Cowser's got four RBIs. He, he's basically three for five. He's four for eight. And uh, no one else is really too impressive. So against righties, Baltimore likes to hit righties. Well, oh, that green. Oh, a lot of green on the screen. Mm, okay. All right. Strikeouts. Very up and down. I mean, there's some downs, but I mean, it's going again. We saw, what are they striking out at? Baltimore's at 11th. Yeah, no shot. Not taking that. Hits. Uh, trending down, but still has potential to go. It's Bellow. I would never take an under with Bellow. I just can't do it. Earn runs. Walks. Yeah, he's up and down on walks. And outs very up and down. I don't like that at all. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like any of those. Let's see, everything's equal. The pitchers have potentially give up runs. The total's nine and a half. That feels like a high total, though, especially with this weather going on. That concerns me so much. So for me, just to be safe, because even if they do play, it's going to be nasty, which is not good for scoring runs. That's good for pitching. So I am going to pass on this one. Let's move on to the next game. All right, next up, we got Minnesota and Texas. Texas is a slight favorite. Nine and a half is the total. We are in Texas, so we don't have to worry about weather for once. Is actually going to be in a dome, so no worries. 54% Nerfy based on what they've done this year. 2.7, a buck 86 for Minnesota in the last three. That's 22nd and 24th. That ain't good. Texas, 4.7, 277. Usually, I just joked on Texas hard last game, but Texas is usually down lower. But now they're 12th and 7th. Hey, they're doing better. So advantage Texas in this one offensively. Looking at the pitchers, we got Festa going out there for Minnesota. And we can see Festa's been... I mean, outside his one nine seven game against Detroit, he's his last four games have been pretty good. Evaldi is going out there for Tejas. You can see he's been giving us runs. He's not been the best. I mean, the last five games, Fest is better. That's the truth. So you got to lean Texas with the runs, but you got to kind of lean Minnesota with the pitching because Evaldi's just not been there. So let's look at props, see if anything shows us something different. So. We're going to go Festa first since we're on him. Boop, boop. Right, give me Festa. There we go. One for three for Kelly. That's it. Against righties, Texas. Two, 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 one, two, two, two. Nothing. There's a 288 for Jung, but that's it. Uh, hits. Last three have gone. Mm, he's gotten better. Even better his last three games. Strikeouts. Uh, up and down. Earn runs. Walks. And yeah, nothing's really standing up, so. And we go to Evaldi. More stats, obviously, because he's pitched longer this year. Evaldi, history. Ooh, not too much. Against righties, Minnesota is... Uh, some guys struggle. There's, I mean, Miranda loves some righties. Loves. 340. Uh, let's look at the stats. Outs is the first thing, and it just falls off a cliff. All right. Strikeouts are up and down. Not. I mean, you can't do 10 and 2, have two sevens around it. You can't have those numbers. That is the definition of a non-consistent right there, especially hits. 
Yeah, this dude is not consistent at all on anything, is he? Oof. I mean, you see this and it's like, oh yeah, he's great. All of a sudden, bang, two walks. And it's like, I think I bet this too. No, I didn't. No, that was his last start. No, I would have though. <laughs> if, if I knew I could have, but now I know I can. Yeah, I'm still not going to do it. Yeah, no. What's under walks? 179. Yeah, not a chance. No shot. Uh, we got Vasquez, both bases and HRR 90%. That's 9 out of 10. Hat was uh, Garcia Jump. I don't like mm. I need some history. I need some stats. I don't like, I don't really like, I already said that they kind of cancel each other out. What's the total? Nine and a half. I'm not feeling this game at all. Nothing's really standing out. So for me, I'm going to pass on this one. Next game. Next game, San Fran, Oakland Bay battle. We got San Francisco as a slight favorite. Eight is your total. Looking over at the sky, we see it's going to be a good day. Uh, yeah, it's even gonna get a little cool by the end of the game. Oh, look at good temperatures, winds blowing straight out. That could mean something. Let's look at the stats 61% nerfy based on what they've done this year, 3.7, 250 for San Fran. That's 18 and 12 in the last three. Oakland, 5.7 and 276. That is seventh and eighth. You gotta lean Oakland on this one. So, I mean, yeah, gotta lean them there. Let's look at the pitching, see what we got here. We got Birdsong going out there. Birdsong got. I mean, his last couple of games, he's been lit up. Let's just put it that way. Before that, he was great, but then just awful in the last two games. So, uh, but it was Detroit and Washington of all teams that got him. So, that's kind of funny. Uh, Bido, Bido, whatever you say, he's going out there. He says he's a reliever, but the dude's gone six last two games. So, he's basically a starter now. So, and he's a good starter. Look at he sees outside of this one game against LA, he's been good. So, I would, right now, I would take. Bido over him technically so let's look at the props see what we got i want to start Bido since we're talking about him do we actually have full stats for him we got a little bit of history nothing there san fran versus rise san fran loves lefties we know this but two 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 one two all these are low twos except for that 300 there's a 268 oh, that's low twos so and we look at the props hit strikeouts i didn't look at strikeouts more than that 15th and 9th yeah not not mm -mm. I need somebody in the 20s or lower for strikeouts recently for me to take a strikeout problem. Uh, earn runs. Yeah, it's going to be 2024. Earn runs, walks, outs. You see, he's more consistent as outs, but it, I, I mean, it's been two games. What is he, is he going to be six innings again? We need to see. And we pop over to Birdsong real quick, see what his history looks like. Doop, doop, doop. Nothing. Mm, we got some couple high twos we got a one got a 262 it's neither team's gonna be too good it's even this slight advantage up one here again uh outs strikeouts all the consistent games were the first set of games this these group these games are not consistent where are the props i like i'm not seeing them anywhere and we got fistrail jj fistrail conforto zach and rooker those are your bats in the green outside of that it gets kind of eh so, ah, uh, it's eight. We got pitchers. I think Bido's good. Bird Song's been roughed up. Mm, I can't. Mm. So I'm thinking Oakland on both. That's hilarious. Does Oakland go in the parlay? They're underdog. It's it's basically. Yeah. You know what? I think they will. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing Oakland. Sorry. Can't do it. Oakland is going in the money line parlay. I have that in there. You can't change my mind. And we're going to move on to the next game. Okay. We have the White Sox and the Astros. We have the largest money line I've seen this year. Houston minus 385. They're probably going to be 400 by first pitch. What? And totals eight and a half. This is baseball. You don't have 400s in baseball. I almost want to take Chicago just out of principle at this point. Um, yeah, it's in a dome, so no worries about weather. 55% uh, nerfy based on what they've done this year. 2.7, 245 for Chicago in the last three. That's 22nd and 13th. Houston, three and a buck 86 for 20th and 24th. Why are you minus 385? Because you see these stats just like I do. Does it not see like these are equal, if not slightly leaning Chicago? Chicago won the last game. I mean, huh? Okay, let's look at pitchers. Now, I know Flexen's pitching. And I know Flexen loses every game he pitches. I mean, look. Look at that. He's, look at that. Look at all them L's. Oh, like an L factory. Just prints them. So, but 
it's not because he's garbage. I mean, that's a great game. Yeah, that was bad. That's good. That's good. That's bad. That's good. 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 That's who, yes, Hunter Brown's pretty good, but he can bleed when you cut him. See, he had a bad game against Minnesota. He gave up 9-4 and four against Pitt. It's possible. So, yeah, okay. Props. See what we got. See what we have here. Oh, Hunter Brown, history. There's not much of it. Nothing stands out here so far. Against righties, we got a couple twos. We got a lot of ones. There's nothing close to a three, obviously. So, nope. Um, props, hits. He's very up and down. Strikeouts, earn runs. I mean, those are hits. I'll put the strikeouts here. I'll say, wait, what? <laughs> this is strikeouts. Okay, that's strikeouts. Uh, Chicago is not striking out. Houston's the one doing all the striking out. They're 29th. What are we looking? What are we doing here? Okay, earn runs. Walks, outs, talking about, yeah, 18 and a half, and dude hasn't hit 18 in forever. Yeah, okay. What, what what do they know? They expect him to throw a perfect game today? I mean, there's, this is lining up. They know something. This is one of those weird ones. Like, what do you know? All right, let's pop over to Flex, and let's, let's, get, let's get our chuckles in real quick. History, Alvarez, three home runs, 17 at-bats. That's worth noting is Alvarez over here on this thing. Alvarez is not on this list, so I'm not taking him. That's a shame. Uh, what else we got? Pena, 300. Mm, okay. Against righties. I mean, some of these numbers aren't good. We got a couple twos. We, don't, we have a 300 for Diaz, and that's it. Mm, not the best numbers. Hits, strikeouts, earned runs, walks. Outs. I mean, ugh, nothing. And we see the bats. Brooks, Fletcher, Lopez, Pena, Baldwin, Vaughn been attending. Oh, uh, no, no. What? Why? I. This is pure principle. I'm doing this is not going to parlay. This is a straight bet out of principle only. There is no reason a team should be this favorite in baseball. This is Major League Baseball. These are professionals. And look who won the game yesterday. They already won yesterday. Don't care. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I don't care. I am taking the White Sox. I'm taking the money line. Just a straight bet by themselves at a pure principle because this is silly. 310 is probably going to be like 330 by the time first pitch. So I'm taking it. So White Sox money line. I do not care about the stats. You see, they kind of line up to be like, this is a coin flip. This shouldn't be minus 400. So yeah. We're taking Flexen to get the first W in three months. We're taking the White Sox next game. All right, next up, Cleveland, Milwaukee. Pretty much a pick em. Seven and a half is a total. Let's look at the weather. We see that it is in a dome. It's Milwaukee. We ain't got to worry about it. So cool. Let's pop back over here to the numbers. We see that 55% nervy based on what they've done this year. Uh, 3.7 and 211 for Cleveland. That's 18th and 21st in the last three. Uh, Milwaukee 5.3 and a buck 95. That's ninth and 23rd in their last three. They get the runs, but they don't have the average to go with. So both the average, both teams are kind of struggling with the bats. Yeah, but Milwaukee is somehow still scoring runs. So make that make sense. And they're kind of striking out their 20th versus Cleveland, who never strikes out. Anyways, going out for the pitchers, we got Bybee going out there. He's been pretty good. Can't complain. Great numbers overall. Awesome. Pretty, pretty good pitcher. Yeah. 19th ERA, 18th in whip. Yeah, it makes sense. So, yeah, he's good. Uh, has not faced Milwaukee recently. Peralta's going out there for Milwaukee. Uh, he gives up more runs, but still not bad. Not terrible. He hasn't had like an eight or nine. But, yeah, can't complain. Four, four is the most you give up. I mean, eh, okay, we'll allow it. I wish you'd be better, but, yeah, we'll take four. So, I would still lean Bobby in this one for sure. On the bats, I guess you lean Milwaukee because of the runs. But there's no advantage there, to be honest. Let's look at the props, see what anything stands out. Let's start with Bybee. Oop. And we don't have much history. Sanchez is a home run at four bats. That's all we have. Uh, against righties, Milwaukee, a lot of green down here. A couple 100s, a 300. Uh, they like righties. Story. There you go. Up and down, strikeouts. <laughs> it was good. Falling off a plateaued hard down here. Earn runs. Very up and down. Walks. 
I need some consistency. So this is kind of consistent, but 17 and a half. I need too, too many times he gets pulled in the fifth, 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 fifth. Not, no, after five. Yeah, mm -mm, I need more. Uh, let's pop over here. History, pretty good. A bunch of zeros, but not many at bats. Cleveland versus righties. We got a 300 for Quan. And then outside, we got a bunch of twos and a 100. Mm, nothing really stands out. Strikeouts for Peralta against Cleveland? No shot. Uh, I'm not taking strikeouts against Cleveland. It'll never happen. Hits, mm -mm. earn runs, walks. Walks. Let's zoom out. All season, head to head, he had three. Cleveland doesn't strike out much. There we go. See, see, we. I'm loving, loving it. I'm loving it. It's uh, over 1.5. BBs. That's a walk play right there. Yes. Yep. Yep. All right. So Peralta walks for sure because hopefully we get a nice little. Just get two. I don't care how many you get. So, and pitching outs is. Oof. Okay. And let's go to the bats real quick. Look at the bats. Not many to pick from. You got Ortiz. You got Jose at 70. And and oh Adams here. Pretty good. So nothing really stands out to me. So I don't see a side. I don't see a total. I'm not taking a nerfy. I have Peralta walks. That's I think that's all I'm gonna take in this one. So we'll take that walk play. Move on to the next one. All right, next up we got Dodgers and Cardinals. Dodgers slight favorite on the road. Nine is your total. Looking at the weather, because we are in St. Louis. We can see that is nice. No rain, sunshine, wind blowing out, 10. Eh, not bad. 50% nerfy based on what they've done this year. Uh, five runs, 282 for LA. That's 10th and 5th in the last three games. St. Louis, 3 and 204. 20th and 22nd. LA gets the advantage in the runs, obviously. Strikeouts are the same at 15th. So look at the pitchers. We got Bobby Miller going out there for LA. And Bobby Miller was not good last time he bumped. Not, not good at all. 10 and 9. And before that, four and two, I mean, very up and down. So, Palante, see what he has done since he's going out there. Five and five, seven and three, pretty good except for that five, five. I mean, yeah, they both have the potential to give up runs. And the total is nine. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's go over the props. Dig a little deeper. Okay, I have Palante props. I do not have any Bobby Miller props. That's interesting. Can I see at least Bobby Miller history? I can. Sweet. Uh, we got history. Nothing stands out in the history, but we got it. So a lot of zeros. Mm -hmm. Impressive. St. Louis versus righties. Uh, we got some lower numbers. We got some higher twos. We got 300 for Burleson. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and just look up Palante since we're here. History for Palante is a lot of zeros. Uh, Hernandez got a home run. He's three for four with a home run, but other than that, nothing's, I guess Ahmed has a home run too. Okay. Against righties. There's a 300 for Haltani and 314 for Freeman. And Betts is a 298, but everybody else is kind of, I guess Ross is 285 now. So, okay. Strikeouts is three and a half. I, yeah, I mean, what? What's, what's LA strikeouts? 15th or right in the middle. They're literally middle of the pack. I just don't, what? That's, hmm, I, I can't. Uh-uh. No. No. It's, it's, it's too up and down. I only have outs on here. Outs means we don't know how long he's going to pitch for. So, because his last 5.2, 4.2, 5, 6, 6, 7, it's like he's slowly going down. It's like, uh, do I think you'll get four strikeouts? You you hit four a few times and five a few times. Mm. No, you struck out five KC. That's impressive. It was KC. They don't strike out much. Let's go to bats. All we have is Freeman and Rojas. This is ugly. This is just a dirty... Ugh, nasty game. I I lean LA in the bats. I don't lean either in the pitching. The pitching is just uh, I don't to, to, I don't even have a, a good feeling about this game. I think for this one, I'm just gonna pass and just move on to the next one. All right, next up, San Diego in Colorado. San Diego is minus two hundred five. Ten and a half is your total. Uh, let's look over at the weather since we are in Colorado. We see it's going to be there's a slight chance of rain. Look. Nice guys. Wind's blowing out slightly. Looking at this, 45% nerfy based on what they've done this year. Both at 4.7. That's 12th in runs in the last three. 274 versus 235. That's 9th and 18th. Advantage San Diego. San Diego's person strikeouts. Colorado's 27th in strikeouts. So that's where they typically use, use y'all at whole season. So 
Uh, yeah, I would lean San Diego, sl I mean, slightly just because of the average, but not by much. Uh, we got the pitchers. We got Cease going out there for San Diego. It's five and six and two against them. Only an inning against Pitt because of the weather. You can see what he's done. Dude's just good. I mean, there's nothing to say. He's just good. Freeland going out there for Sh uh, Chicago, <laughs> for Colorado. You can see four three four three six one eight six. He's not bad. I mean, three three one six two two. I take out the sixth. Ignore that's there, and uh, that's a pretty good pitcher. So. He had one bad game. A Colorado pitcher doing this? Come on. I'd give, you give, give some props what they do sometimes. So let's pop over to the props. Let's look at the history. We'll start with Cease first. Oh, we got some home runs, but not much. McMahon is 5 for 10 with a home run. That's actually kind of impressive against Cease. Outside of that, Blackman's 273, and then there's just nothing else. Against righties, Colorado is, there's 100, there's 100, there's a lot of mid twos, 280. They're about average. It's actually, surprise, they're even this close. So, uh, strikeouts, 7.5, 7.5. Colorado is 27th, but 7.5, he's only struck out. These, if these were, if one of these was green, maybe, but since these three are not, mm -mm. hits, four and a half. Mm -mm. No, I need to see what he does in this game. Earn runs has been pretty good, but you're in Coors Field, and we know what happens in Coors Field. So, uh, walks. Mm. Yeah, you're going against a team that strikes out a lot. I don't know. I'm not liking it. Oh, see, and see. Mm -hmm. I know this is weather. I know this one's weather now, but these two don't. These weren't weather. So what was that? So, ever since he threw the the no hitter, it's like ah, okay. Let's look over at Freeland, see what he has now. Freeland history. <laughs> That's a lot of green. <laughs> Machado has 47 at-bats. He's batting 319, but no homers. That's interesting. Solano has two home runs. Peralta has a home run. Hmm, a lot of green, but not many home runs. That's actually kind of impressive. That's just a lot of green, though. A lot of, and against lefties, they're not the best. It's got a lot of lower twos. Got some ones. There's a couple three hundreds, but mm, okay. Strikeouts is two and is two and a half. Yeah, one last time. <laughs> two and a half. I can't. I can't do it. No shot. Gets uh, earn runs, walks. I just said how he's pretty good. You should give him some props, but I just can't take. I mean, yeah, no. Let's go to bats. <laughs> I just can't. Rogers is 100. percent 10 out of 10 for HRR. You're going to get ceased now. I mean, good luck. I can't. They're all Rockies. All the green are Rockies, and I I can't take a Rocky against Cease right now. Ooh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it, Captain. So for me, I'm not. I just what's the total? It was ten and a half either. Oh, I don't like it. I can't do it. I got to pass. I'm passing on all of it next game. All right, last game, Atlanta and LAA. We have. The Braves minus 215, H your total. Let's look over at the weather. We see it's supposed to be nice day. Pretty nice. Can't complain. Looking at the bats, 64% Nerfy based on what they've done this year. Five runs, 232 for Atlanta in the last three. That's 10th and 19th. Angels, two runs, a buck 80. That's 27th and 26th. That ain't getting the job done. Atlanta's bats have gotten better. Uh, Angels are, I mean, you're trending up from last. That's pretty good. I mean, you don't know where to go with the bottom. You've got to move up, so... Look at the pitchers. But today, you're probably going to go back down because you're facing the man. You're facing Chris Sale. Enjoy. You're, you're going to have a rough night, let me tell you. Dude is a beast. 12Ks, 10Ks. And San Fran had no chance last time. You probably don't want to have one either. So uh, Griffin Canning's going out there for LA. You can see what he has done. Yeah, yeah, he gives us some runs. So I completely see why Atlanta is such a heavy favorite. The bats are a cavity advantage. Pitching has an advantage to the point where I think I'm putting Atlanta into my money line parlay. I already typed it in. It must be in now. So let's look at props just to be safe. Canning, sale. Let's start with Canning. Just why not? We're talking about him. Let's give him his due, his time, his air time. I mean, Olsen's got two home runs, 250 and 16 at bats. And this guy, Loreano, has three home runs and 19 at-bats. Who are you? I don't even know who you are. But you've got three home runs. Okay. Are you over here? Because I'll take you if you're over here. It's all angels except for Ozuna. Ozuna's 70%. What's Ozuna over here? One home run, three at-bats. That is not enough information. So that's, those are some fun ones. Okay. 
uh, against righties. You see all the Braves are pretty, they're pretty average. You got a couple hundreds, but most of them mid twos. Nothing stands out. Uh, Canning, five and a half hits. Uh, not, you know, I'm not too concerned with that. You had zero strikeouts last game. Zero. How many outs you have? You pitched 21 outs with zero strikeouts. Are you serious? That's crazy. You're banned from strikeouts the whole season. Banned. You're probably banned next season too because of some silly stat like that. You couldn't strike out one. You got, okay, walks. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. Yep. We're going to take Canning over 1.5 walks. I'm, I'm loving having walks back. I'm loving this. Oh, yeah. You were so good. You didn't walk or strike out anybody last time, but you, somehow you went 21 outs. How is that possible? Okay. Yes, that's good. So. And your outs. Yeah. Let's pop over to Chris Sale. Let's look at your matchup. Tell me this is going to be a just a... Oh, Drew's got a home run and 11 at bats. He's two for eight. And, ooh, hold up now. Hmm. Angels love lefties. Oh, oh, hold up. Let me just go ahead and just... Let me delete ATL out of the money line parlay because... I did not, I apologize, Angels. I was not familiar with your game. 364, 340, 345, 410 with, oh, hell no, I ain't taking no money line with Atlanta with these numbers. Ooh, I know it's sale, but ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what's, the, what's the strikeouts looking like? 22nd and 9.7. I mean, ooh, ooh. I just, oh, I'm, I'm a little taken back by that. I did not expect to see those numbers. Oof. It's been a minute since I've seen Angels versus a lefty, apparently. And I just was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Angels? The LA Angels of baseball. Okay. Yeah, them. All right. I'm not going to take any of those. Okay, let's go to bat props. Nine, eight, seven, seven, award. See, let's see. See, there's some good ones. But. It's sale. They cancel out. I can't. It's a sale. I, I, it's hard. You can't really see Chris Sale getting blown up. You just can't see it. If it happens, cool. But I just can't do it. So for me, I am going to take that canning over one and a half walks. Nothing else in call today. That's it. All 15 games broken down and only passed on five games. I have played. I have a lot of plays today, including the get the, the just the absolute insult of insults. I have the White Sox money line. Yeah, I do. And it's not in the parlay. It's, it's a principal play only. I don't care what anything says. You don't give some team plus 300 odds in baseball. Mm -mm. Not around here. Not around here, partner. So I am taking those. So there's a lot of plays. It's going to be fun. Drop a like, subscribe. Check out Outlier. Link in the description. Link in the top comments. Get you a week for free. It's worth it. Trust me, you'll love it. Everything you need's in there. It'll be there for football and basketball, too. You see how good it's been for baseball. So... On top of that, if you want to skip all this and just get a typed out list, become a member. There's a join button right next to the subscribe button. You don't want to do it through YouTube? Go to Patreon. You can do it that way. You can go join straight through Discord. You can do WAP. There's plenty of ways to do it. I make it conveniently for everybody. If you want to ask a question, drop it in the comments. I want to answer some questions today. Let me know. Just ask me any random question you want to ask me. I don't care what it is. Ask it. And if I can answer it, I will. We're going to do that today. So it's Saturday. It's the weekend. We're going to chill. I'm about to go to the beach, have a little fun in the sun, and we're going to have a nice green day. And we will see you tomorrow. Peace.